Maggie was here last week. You'll see him three times next week. Let's give it up for Mike Faber, everyone. supposed to start off. <laughs> uh, so I sat outside in the snow today looking like a homeless crackhead waiting for a taxi cab. So if you guys could just laugh at everything I say, that would be great because I shouldn't be here doing this shit. Oh man. So last time I was here, two people walked out because I called white people niggas. So, I'm going to leave you guys alone today. <laughs> Any gay people? No, nobody's gay here? I, I doubt it. There's like a hundred people here. Somebody has to be gay. So speaking of gay, anybody watch the Aaron Hernandez documentary? They, I think that documentary said gay people but way back. Like, everything he did in life, they blamed on him being gay. It was like Aaron Hernandez stabbed the guy and said, oh, well, you know, because he was gay. And when you try to hide that you're gay, that's why you kill people. It was like a wild documentary. And then they had, like, two other football players there. No reason for them to be in this documentary other than them telling us they were gay, too. Like, the whole documentary was full. I said, well, first of all, I just sat in the snow in a fucking wheelchair. So if you could laugh a little more, that would be great for me. Thank you, there we go. So, I'm 35, I'm single, I have no kids. <laughs> what, what age do you guys think is like a good age to start getting prostitutes? <laughs> this, this is all falling off the rails for me. I'm up here doing comedy. That's not what I want to do. I'd rather be just fucking prostitutes. <laughs> Man, are you okay? You look uncomfortable with everything I've said so far. I didn't call white people niggers or anything. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good tonight. <laughs> I did one show and this lady, I did a joke. I have cerebral palsy. And I did a joke about having cerebral palsy. And this lady goes, you look good for a guy with cerebral palsy. I mean, in a smart kid in the slow class kind of way, I guess, I look fucking great. I can, I can talk well, it's great. I can, I can tell jokes. I'm doing good out here. Any chalk fans? Yeah? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a big, like you're a real live Trump fan? <laughs> you're the guy with the two wives, right? <laughs> three? You put up three wives? Yeah, three wives? <laughs> Maybe I need to get on the Trump side of things. I'm, I'm out here by myself, lonely, waiting to stoke the cabs. You got two women. I've been doing this black thing all along. <laughs> huh? So I've had three? Yeah, but not at the same time. You brought them to the show. I need to live your life. <sighs> it's 2020, man. This is a new decade. And everybody always talks about how we thought they were going to be flying cars by now. I knew around 99, like, we weren't anywhere near flying cars. Because <laughs> in my neighborhood, there were still people riding around in old mobiles with no hubcaps. <laughs> so I kind of figured we were nowhere near that. We don't have flying cars, but porn is readily available at my fingertips. 
I can't get those bionic legs that I want, but I know what a glory hole is. So we're doing good. So I'm still a so you like two wives. How did you do it? No, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, and girlfriend. But why are you all here together? Like what's that? No, that's not the book that I know. The book that I know, niggas die. They're saying, snow with three wives. Well, hey, what part of Brooklyn are you guys from? That's, oh, that, yeah, there you go. Now I, I get it now. I get it. Because in Brownsville, it's not like that. Oh man, you guys know, like, do you guys know any other handicapped people? You? Yeah? Oh, I thought you, you have CP? Your CP is amazing. Are you for real? I feel like you're fucking with me. <laughs> Just so, like, so we're like brothers here. Like, and then there's the other guy in the wheelchair, like, his, his wheelchair. We're out, we're out tonight, buddy. We're gonna, we're gonna go get some prostitutes after this. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to this guy. And then we're just gonna get it all together and party in Bensonhurst. I feel like the red light should have come, but I'm having a lot of fun with you guys. No white people are uncomfortable, this is great. You're uncomfortable? I'm very happy. Alright, I, I, I don't want to make you uncomfortable because you're old and... You love it. Are you going to marry Kevin too? <laughs> Kevin? Listen, Kevin, after the show, me and you need to talk. Because you're living a magical life. Oh, Kevin, you're, why didn't you say anything, Kevin? You just had me... Kevin, come on, man. My my cerebral is palsy. I need to, you need to help me out. So what kind of cerebral palsy do you have? You guys have no idea what we're talking about at this point. Gotcha. My whole shit is affected. <laughs> it's a big difference. You guys don't give a fuck about cerebral palsy. You said you give a fuck about cerebral palsy? Thank you. I appreciate you. God bless you. What's your name again? Peter. I'm going to remember you for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> You're a great Trump supporting American. <laughs> you like black people? You like black people? <laughs> Wait, why did you say excuse me? <laughs> like, excuse me? Do you? I Do I like niggers? Is that what you mean? I'm joking. I gotta get out of here. My name is Mike Favor. Keep asking for good night.